I got something to say. This is for YouTube and whoever, uh, when it's time to edit and post my videos, this is for you, YouTube. Um, not trying to be ugly or disrespectful, but this copyright thing that you slap on every video, almost every video that I uh, post on my channel has got to stop. I just want to let you know that the music that you're hearing on the backdrop of my videos, it's repeated, it's the same little tune, and it's from an editing app that is free that I have on my phone. So, with that being said, I am not copywriting, it is free, and it should not, I should not have copyright on my videos every time I go to check it and see that it's, that, that I have done an, yet another copyright. Please stop doing that. Check my editing. Check where the music's coming from before you slap that on there. I just had that one thing to say. So, there you go. I'm done. Please, please stop doing that. And I even, so much as to put, um, uh, what was it? <laughs> my car's coming, so yeah, it's getting noisy. But, I so much put on there that I have no rights to the song or music or what have you on some of my videos. I don't want to have to put that on every single video, but if I have to, I will. But you guys need to understand that we're not just digging music out to make, you know, our, our videos famous or stealing somebody's music or whatever. I don't, I don't understand why y'all do that. But if you check it, you will see that it's a free app. everyone doing good morning and I hope everyone is having a great Sunday morning um yes it's Sunday morning and I'm in my bed and this is me in the mornings anyways good morning welcome to another new video with Kaya everything I'm Mama Pain and yes, you're seeing Mama Pain in her bed with possibly yesterday's makeup that swore off. I don't usually go to bed with my makeup, but I didn't feel like taking it off yesterday. I didn't care. And I don't care if you guys see me like this this morning. So, with that being said, today's video... What's today's video about? Well, as you can hear my voice, it's a little shabby. Um, and today's video is going to be about how to knock out a cold in 48 hours or possibly three days. Yes, you heard that right because Mama Pain is down with a cold. And, well, she has been, and I've been sick this cold that my tie, my son, gave me. So, <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, so yes, I'm getting up, and I said, you know what? Let's go ahead and do a video. Don't matter what you look like, how you look like, y'all are my fam. And y'all have to know how I look sometimes. It's not always makeup caps and, you know, my hair um, bandanas and uh, what have you. So, so I decided, oh, that looked like 3D. Check this out. Bam. <laughs> um, so I thought that today I would just do the intro of me this morning looking like 
yes, this. And the only thing I don't like about it is the sun. Well, I love the sunshine coming through my room because I love all this natural light. <clears throat> so, um, but it just gives it that frost look around me. And so, yeah. And you can hear I'm still a little congested, but I was up yesterday, up and moving around, and I felt better. And I was up to get, able to get up and get dressed and go to the store and um, go get things that I needed. Um, so anyways, I couldn't find a few things that I wanted to add to what I take or I gave my son to take to knock out this cold. Like, in no time. Um, <clears throat> you're still going to feel a little congested, a little, you know, your your head, you're gonna feel stuffy, and whatever. But that's okay. That's okay because I'd rather feel this way than feeling like caca and laying in bed and weak and not able to get up and do anything for myself. I do not like to feel helpless. So, um, yes, I'm laying here. I'm trying to figure out um, how I was going to go about doing this video and all that great stuff. I know I've not made a real good comeback on my channel. It's just certain things that's gotten me down. Like, I still have that emotional roller coaster of the loss of my mom. Um, I just went on my other channel. Uh, exploring the afterlife to explain on what happened there um, to them because my fans they just need to know what's going on and whether I call you fam or fans it you're on my channel and you have stuck by me this whole time and and I love you guys and I thank you very much so um I totally went off the channel not explaining to them what happened and so yeah I had to get on didn't I it just didn't matter how I felt whether I felt good or bad I still had to get on there and explain to them I don't want to just leave everybody hanging for too long without coming back on to explain what happened you know and um yeah so I also I have a bone to pick with YouTube about Oh, uh, this copyright BS, um, they're gonna know about it, so I'm gonna do a short little video before this one, and let them know I am tired of being copywritten because of my little backdrop music that I have, that is totally a free app for editing, yes, a free editing app that I get my little tunes from, and... It has nothing to do with copywriting and they throw, I mean, every time I upload a video, they slap that copyright BS on there and I am sick of it and they need to stop doing that. Um, I even so much as to go on there and put, do not have rights to this music or song, which I don't really do songs. I just do like tunes or whatever and it's repeated over and over again through my intro or you know little um little short video whatever and so i don't get it and they need to understand that and whoever's doing that to me you need to know how to do your job <laughs> seriously i'm just really po'd about this copy writ stuff like it would totally show you where the music's coming from once I post my video, it's not, especially when it's edited in from an editing app. That's crazy. <coughs> Anyways, guys, I'm going to get up. I'm going to get motivated. And I am going to get started with the video. And, oh my goodness. I don't know how my eye is doing, but on my other video... As you guys could see, I'm not sure if you could see. Um, yes, I'm scaring you. Can you see? 
Um, it was super, super red. And, um, I don't know. Yeah, it's still kind of red. Anyway, sorry about that. Um, it was super red. It looked like a demon eye was coming out on the side of my eye on top of, or next to my eye. And I'm like, oh my god. Because it really looks spooky. Um, not sure how I did that. I really don't. I don't, I don't think it's got a, anything to do with cold. But, yeah. But anyways, let me get out of here. Let me get dressed. Get myself together. And look decent. And it's a beautiful Sunday morning. And so let's get started. I'm back. And I'm dressed. Got my makeup on. And I feel even a little bit more better. So... I'm outside. It's gorgeous. It's Sunday. It's sunny. And come on with me. I'm going to show you the beautiful trees are turning color. Oh, we got my sidekick. Uh, my fall flowers are, are, these are dying and they died. But this is about to all calm, calm down because I have Yet another thing and theme to put on my porch. Of course, Christmas is coming. And I have another video I want to do. Um, not to mention, I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do next. That will be on another video. But check this tree out. Look at the gorgeous color. Let me get you guys away from the sun. Check that tree out. Isn't it gorgeous? absolutely gorgeous we got yellow and we have red and over there gorgeous gorgeous I mean that's what fall is guys and look, look at all the leaves mr. caddy there's my on the other side kid mr. caddy come on kitty no don't go to the road kitty 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 all right, guys, so I'm out getting fresh air, getting that beautiful, fresh morning air into my lungs, trying to get all feeling even more better, getting all this poison out of my system. Kitty, kitty, come on, kitty, 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 kitty. Um, so that little video before, uh, well, not before, but um, the beginning of this video, I'm having a little issue with YouTube, so that is toward an address to YouTube to let them know uh, all about this copyright and things that they're throwing on me, and that's a big no-no. I know better. I don't want to be sued. Who wants to be sued? Kitty! Kitty, kitty! I think Mr. Kitty is trying to kill something. Let me go see. Okay, so... I can't really see that good outside because it's so bright and I don't know if I'm hitting play or not. Okay, I'm just making sure the animals are safe. Alright, so anyways, so that's what's going on. But let me get started on the actual reason why I'm doing this video. Just looking to make sure I don't get stung by a wasp because they do like to fly up here. Come on, Mr. Hollows. Come on with your little short salve. He just got... His haircut. I need to cut some more off the face. And then it's off to the bath he goes. And there goes another cat. That would be Saki's. Whew. Alright, I'm inside now. Holy moly. I st I'm still short of energy. And here I want to go hiking. How is that going to go? I don't know. But um, like I said though, I'm up. I'm walking around. I'm feeling better. So let me tell you guys how I stopped this right on its butt, okay? Alright, long story short, my son comes home, he's sick, he's not feeling well, and um, he's got a serious cold, his is full blown. And um, he's running a little fever, I'm not panicking, because just literally just watching his symptoms... 
I'm making sure that it's not, you know, COVID. Um, I mean, all of us, we know what a cold is. We've had it all our lives. We know the symptoms. Yes, COVID has got some of the same symptoms, and so does the flu. But, I mean, high fever and things like that, yes, I would rush them to the hospital and make sure. But, um, but I know, as a mom... I'm going to step in and I'm going to do everything I can to make him feel better and get, you know, get it done. Alright, so I go ahead and juke him up with the stuff that I'm about to show you guys um, on how to knock out this cold. And this was amazing because um, I gave him this, uh, these things and um, that I also took and I knocked out his cold. Like, in, I mean, 48 hours. I didn't think about recording that, but I should have. Anyways, so in 48 hours, he's up and going back to school because he did miss a day of school. So, day one, day two, and then the next morning, he was up feeling better. Off to school, he went. He came back. I was expecting him not to feel good, but he was still feeling you know, it's, it's not going to knock it out 100%, but it will knock it out to make where you can get up and move around and not be tight, tight on in bed and feeling like crap. Okay, so then next thing I know, I looked at him and I told him, you had better not give me your cold, okay? And um, so yeah, 24 hours later, he gave me his cold. I'm feeling like raspy, my chest started hurting a little bit, and, you know, and then I'm thinking, okay, what is this, you know, so I got my inhaler, you know, I took a few puffs of my inhaler, I'm good, but then that night, in the middle of 2, 3 o'clock in the a.m., I'm feeling it, so I'm waking up, <clears throat> and I'm doing that, and then I feel like my throat, I feel like I swallowed like tumbleweed and rocks and it hurts and my throat's sore and I said well I know what this means you know I'm about to get that daggone cold that he had so I'm like nope 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 no nope. I'm not I'm not having it all right so I said then now it's my turn to get uh all the stuff and take it and knock it out because I wanted to stop it on the dime. I wanted to get this out and gone. So it's almost like a boxing match. You know, it's fighting me and I'm fighting it. And, you know, it was trying to get me good. So day two, I'm feeling it. Um, I have a headache, you know, stuffy nose. My chest is, my chest is congested. You know, it, it's just running its course. But, man, let me tell you, let me tell you, didn't happen, it was about to be full-blown, and I didn't let that happen. Okay, so this is what I got, and this is what I took. Like, NyQuil, I had a little bit of that, so I took that. I didn't even have to use that, because I went yesterday and bought that, but I took some NyQuil leftover, it was about this much. I took it for maybe one day, and pew, it was... That was it. And then, of course, my inhaler. I got some lip balm. My inhaler, so this is just my personal thing, though. Okay, so lip balm. I'd be able to reduce the fevers. Daytime and nighttime NyQuil. It's always important to always have the daytime and the nighttime, so that way you can get around. Unless it's not that bad, so you know, you wouldn't have to take the, the daytime. But I always recommend nighttime. Nighttime is like a must. Okay, of course, cough drops, which I only used one of, and this is what knocks it out, vitamin, this is a vitamin uh, D3, uh, B complex, <clears throat> energy, uh, vitamin C for sure, and a lot of women's energy, okay, all this, these is what knocked it out, to be honest with you. Um, this right here is really all I needed, and then just one dose of that NyQuil. And man, let me tell you, 
it was over. I was feeling better, and that is it. Um, and some chicken noodle, okay? So, yeah, just make sure you take vitamins and your nighttime NyQuil, and um, make sure you have lip balm in case your lips get dry, because then you start breathing through your mouth at, you know, at nighttime, then your lips starts to crack and get dry. Make sure you have a good lip um, lip balm, and um, so a chicken noodle, just, just go in, have that chicken noodle, whether you want it or not, do not starve a cold, always feed a cold, I was always told that, feed a cold, always, 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 and of course your vitamins, if you want orange juice, get that orange juice in, I'm not an orange juice person, it makes my stomach hurt, um, but yeah, using and taking that stuff right there will help you knock out that cold seriously that is the remedy of knocking out that cold vitamins a good chicken broth or chicken noodle soup um and a good um a good nighttime um liquid cold medicine um Musilex or something, I think it's called. I always take that. It's pretty pricey. And this go around, I couldn't afford it. But I got two bottles of NyQuil one day and one night for the next next go around if it happens. Um, I don't ever get a cold but once a year. Maybe two. So, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, he come in... I was a little worried about COVID because he does go to school. He's around all these kids and stuff, but hey, but you know, just be smart. As soon as you feel symptoms, go ahead and just start taking, taking the vitamins, taking the, the cold medicine and knock it out, whether it doesn't feel too bad or not. But as soon as you feel that symptom, it is definitely go ahead and take it that way. You can nip that thing in the bud and knock it out. And um, make sure you drink plenty of liquids. Make sure you stay hydrated. Drink water, Gatorade. Um, and I, I drink a lot of water. Um, I'm not too crazy about Gatorade. It's got a lot of sugar in it. So I couldn't find zero sugar. So, uh, yeah. But anyways, that right there will knock it out. I promise you, you'll feel a whole lot better. The symptoms are start uh, deteriorating, leaving. I mean, you know, that's what a cold hates. Everything I just showed you, a cold hates. Okay, so that was about the colds. Um, so I'm going to show you guys what I got in store for some, oh my gosh, I got some videos I want to do. It's going... The guys are going to love it, but it's for the guys and the ladies, you know. It's for whoever. Um, I got some videos to do of that. And I got a big project coming up with, like I said, a theme for the front of my house. And what I'm going to be doing, I want to bring you guys along um, to decorate for Christmas. Um, it's not going to be the same without my mom. I don't know how I'm going to feel about that. I do break down and think about it and you know I always get I always get a kick of um buying her gifts and taking them to her and just sitting there to see what she's going to say about it whether she likes it or not you know I always I always laugh on the inside because I'm waiting I always give her like the like the real crappy gift and I give it to her first and she just doesn't say anything she just you know smiles and like She's going to like it whether she likes it or not. She's going to say she likes it. I'm going to miss that about my mom. Um, I'm still having emotions. And of course, that's normal. You know, I'm going through levels and stages of emotions, of anger and why. And I don't understand. And just so on and so forth. But anyways, let's go on with what I'm going to do. Um... <clears throat> Uh, for the project, I get a little, a little airheaded for a second or two, um, because, you know, I start thinking about other things, but anyways, here we go. Alright, so what am I, th these are going to be lights, 
These are garland. Um, that's just some of the... I'm not going to tell you what it's going to be. Hold on, let me get a, a sip of something here. I've got to have something. My throat is getting a little dry. Okay. Alright, I'm back outside. I'll tell you guys something, though, about this house. <laughs> you can come out the front, and it, if it's sunny, you can come out the front. In the wintertime, I kid you not, if it's like 45 to 40 degrees outside, if you come out to the front where the sun is shining and sit in one of these chairs, you can get a tan. I kid you not, it feels like summertime right here, right now, and it's only like 46 degrees out here right now, okay? It doesn't feel like that. It feels like it's 75 degrees right now in my front. Come on, Piggy. All right, so if I take you guys to the shade, and that wind's blowing a little bit, it literally feels like wintertime. I kid you not. You see that tree? And you guys heard me talk about that tree for so long. This is the worst tree to have in the fall. Zillions of leaves will be falling, and I'll have a ton of them already on the ground. They're just the messiest trees. I just wish I could cut that one down and put something nicer up, but like I said, it's not my house. I'm just renting. Yes, I'm just renting. God forbid, I want to own my own house one day. I wish that drink can come true. Oh, also, I got my wood piled up ready for my fire pit i'll be doing scary scary videos out here at night i'll be doing one for my other channel exploring the afterlife um that probably will be my next video i'm not sure but this video i'm not sure if i'm going to do this is not going to be my next video but it will be one of my videos you guys see this this is a uh, muscadine vine okay Look at those beautiful colors. This is muscadine vine. And the leaves are dying or pretty much all dead. Look how much of it I have. I have so much. It is taking over this azalea um, that used to go around. And this is a job. This is not a job for me. This should be a job for my landlord to come and cut all this out. And make it smaller because it's like literally taking a lot of the yard even though i do still have a big yard but um check this out this is beautiful muscadine vine i'm going to be cutting this muscadine vine and i can't tell you what i'm gonna make with it because then i'm gonna give it away but you guys want to stick around to see what i'm gonna do with that muscadine vine the the garland and lights and um and some of the other stuff that i'm gonna be doing um when i get ready to do the thing in front of my house the thing um that's going to be an interesting video i still have my patio stuff it still looks like summertime back here um this i have to recommend these flowers these are the most beautiful flowers they are like, my god, they just took off. I didn't realize these two were going to actually bloom this big and they get bigger. But yeah, these are amazing flowers. Um, so, things are starting to die. It's getting cold. Um, I can't say that for my grass. I still have green grass and weeds. This is a lot of weeds. I need my neighbor to come cut the grass like a sap but anyways guys <coughs> that will conclude this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope to see you guys on my next and please subscribe if you're new um comment share like please give me that like I'd like to know what you think of some of my videos I've done uh, please comment and don't forget to hit those post notifications so that when I upload a new video you guys are getting notified 
So, until next time, this is Mama Payne with um, Taya Everything. Until next time, I will see you guys on my next video. Peace out. God bless. St oh, oh, huh. Can't forget. Can't forget. Little, little. Don't forget to say little, little. And don't forget to love yourself. Until next time. Peace. Thank you.